Oh, this is a perfect time to be out here. Usually, it doesn't matter. It's still, even if there's like me and 10 other people out here, those 10 other people will immediately get into my personal space. <laughs> it's fucking weird. But anyway, this is a better time to, to do this type of thing. It's like 5.30 in the morning. Uh, it's not as exciting to look at, but uh, that's not really the point. I was just watching um, another Quantum Conscience video, a new one, where he talked about how it was about the World of Warcraft and how the same reality script runs through that as it does in other and everything else, you know. Uh, and we see this in the entertainment media, whether it's uh, movies or, or music or <clears throat> video games, where something will be initially successful and people will like it, it'll do well. And then for whatever reason, that's blamed on a lot of different things, they'll destroy it. <clears throat> you know, uh, the most recent uh, famous example of this would be the uh, Star Wars movies. You know, they just, it seems like they uh, purposely tanked them, and they did. But uh, it runs through every sort of uh, form of entertainment media. Anything that used to be liked or enjoyed uh, now has to be subverted and destroyed. But it's a relatively new development. It wasn't always this way. This is something that maybe started within, you know, maybe in 2016, which would be around the time that that, that one came out. It wasn't something that always happened. In fact, um, logic dictated that you wouldn't want to do that because you want to maintain whatever fan base or whatever <clears throat> popularity you had so that people would continue consuming your product, whatever it happened to be. You, you, why would you want to destroy it? <clears throat> but now it seems like the script, uh, the reality script, kind of makes that uh, happen in everything. Um, it, it, it has to happen now. Everything has to get destroyed and hated. And recently, uh, you know, the Matrix, the new Matrix, they just did it with that. Anything beloved or enjoyed by anyone on any level for any reason, has to be systematically destroyed. The thing that no one really kind of points out, and maybe they'll point it out because it's, you know, it just is obvious, but sometimes I have to point out the obvious for myself, you know, is that this is a recent development. And it wasn't always like that. And I think what it is, uh, my opinion anyway, is that the beast is dying. This evil, this system, it's dying. Not, not resetting like we've seen in the past where they shake the snow globe up, kill off all the people. You know, it like happens every so often. For whatever reason, there's like some kind of reset. All the people are killed off and uh, things get left behind like buildings. There are buildings everywhere uh, in your town, in your city, where you look at a giant cathedral, or not even a giant one, just, uh, just some piece of architecture that would be impossible to build even now. You might be looking at a church and being like, oh, wh when was this built? Oh, this was built in 1890. Yeah, Wikipedia says it took uh, two years to build and, um, yeah, it was built in 1890. So, these people had, what, horses? They had a, a, a couple wagons or something. And they got a, a, a several ton marble statue, 100 feet in the air, to put atop a very slim uh, piece of roofing. <laughs> How'd they do that? Oh, well, uh, you know, they had a lot of wagons and a lot of horses. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It was here. It survived the last time they shook the snow globe. 
But this is, what's happening now isn't just a regular snow globe shakeup. And I'm not, I don't believe that as a cope because I, I feel like it should be different because I'm experiencing it. It's really happening. And I don't think we've ever had a situation where the beast is dying. And it is. It's dying. It's going down. Um, like a military bro said, <clears throat> it's like seven moves away from checkmate. And I had a, a, a dream that kind of centered around this last night about the fact that it's already lost. It's lost. All we have to kind of do now is just take a knee and wait it out, you know? Like a, in a football game. And just wait it out. But in the meantime, it's going to be very destructive. It's going to try to take everything it can down with it. And that's why today it, it may seem as if evil is winning and it's control is growing and look at what's happening with these uh with the, the coup you know it seems to be becoming more ubiquitous and gives the illusion that the beast is winning but it's not it's just it's doing a lot of extreme things because it is dying it's flopping its giant arms around trying to wreck anything it can on the way down so that that destruction of that self-sabotage, I think that's exactly what it is a symptom of. It's a symptom of the larger problem of the, well, it's not a problem, it's a good thing, that the beast is dying. Yeah. Thought completed. <laughs> As I watch a lot of stuff uh, that relates to this field of study. Um, I'm never just passively kind of watching. Well, I don't passively do anything. But uh, I'm developing my own ideas as it goes along. It helps me to think of other things. Like, I, I don't know if... I'm sure I've thought of this particular thing before. I know I have, but I just have... I keep... It's one of those things you always want... I, I keep wanting to mention just forget the fact that why the bad seems to be winning and becoming more ubiquitous but it's actually not because it's just doing more extreme things because it knows it's dying before it could do things much slower uh, it would wait, it would buy its time uh, things would roll out much slower but it's dead and it knows it's dead so it's uh, out of spite and nothing else there's no other reason for it to try to it wants to take what it can with it it wants to destroy what it can while it still has the time to do so. So that's why these, this time is very challenging for those who can see and understand what's happening. And the one thing to remember is it's, it's not getting worse. It only appears to be getting worse. And if it is getting worse, it's because it's already dead and it knows it. What you can't, what it wants you to do is give in to despair. You know, it's, ah, oh, they're locking down everything. You know, we're going to, we're going in camps. I mean, they are, yeah, that's, that's all true. But it's not because they're in a position of strength. It's because they're in a position of weakness. They're on the ground with their octopus-like fucking tendrils just throwing them everywhere, trying to do anything trying to kill, you know, trying to be, make its attacks as extreme as possible. And that's why it seems the way it does. But all things aren't as they seem, and in this case, that's absolutely true, because quite the opposite is happening. We're watching a beast die. And once it's dead, we get out of here. This isn't your regular reset. This isn't your regular however many years. I don't even know why or what prompts them to shake the snow globe. It's almost like they're trying to get a result. But at some point, they find they always tend to, I don't know how many times they're shaking the snow globe, at least two that we can kind of see by looking at artifacts, but I'm sure it's more than that. They're trying for something to uh, 
to make themselves a certain way in perpetuity. Like to give themselves some sort of uh, everlasting life or everlasting power because they can't have the everlasting life that we have because they're not like us. These are bad, bad actors. So they're trying to create a situation where they can have what we have by taking this place and using its inherent energy and power to give them some sort of immunity from any sort of end. But they played the game too many times. They're shaking the snow globe too many times. A lot of people are sort of that understand these things on some level uh, believe that this is just another shaking snow globe scenario. I don't think it is. I think this is different. This time the, the thing is dying. It's going to try to shake the snow globe one last time to get something out of it. And it would have shaken it by now. That's the whole thing. If it was just a regular sh snow globe shaking, we would have seen it shook uh, 10 years ago, 15 years ago. It's some sort of cataclysmic event. But it can't because it's been beaten. It's still got some strength though. You know, it's still got some strength to spare before it dies and it's just wriggling and riding on the ground and slamming things with it, with its arms. That's what's going on. Our job is to, to fucking take a knee and be cool. Realize what's really happening. Realize it's, it's not winning, it's lost. And try to help where we can by helping people to, you know, escape it, escape the fucking tendrils. I'm gonna be heading in now, I guess. Nice morning walk. Not a lot of people to annoy me, which they usually do. And uh, yeah, I'll be back later with some, some stuff I wanted to get to today. Thanks for uh, thanks for checking in.